In today's video, we're going to be playing around with ferrofluid to see if we can come up with some experiments that other people haven't tried before. Hey guys, so you might not see Nate again for a while in some of our videos because we got some new King of Random t-shirts in and they may have gone to his head. Why the broom? Bend the knee. Put my kitchen knives back. Wait, no, you, you can get one too. Available now for a limited time. Click the link in the description. It's fine. I'll rule on my own. Nate, what do we have? We have ferrofluid. We've had several people ask to see us do experiments with ferrofluid, and so I got a hold of what is quite a bit for ferrofluid, mm -hmm. and I just want to play around with it, see what cool effects and shapes we can get, and maybe try some of the things that are a little more on brand for us, but a little unconventional for other people. Here's the basic idea. We've got a lot of ferrofluid, and we have a big collection of magnets. We want to see what ways we can combine these to get the coolest effects. I need you to back up. What is ferrofluid? Ferrofluid. I, I have never played with this. All right, going back a little bit, ferrofluid is a magnetic liquid. It has molecularly small iron suspended in a, some kind of oil-based liquid, and it's attracted to magnets. All of the ferrofluid that we got today did come with a, a sheet of instructions, and one of the things it says is, what was it? Toxicity level? Unknown, I think. No data. So while I really, really, really wanted to drink this, Nate says no. <laughs> really basic demonstration of how this stuff works. We've just got a magnet underneath a plastic shield, and we're just gonna start dripping some ferrofluid onto it and watch what it does. What? That's just a single drop, and I'm just gonna keep what? dripping it on. What? Look at those little spikes, like, oh, no. forming and then running away. Oh no, I love it. I have seen multiple videos on this. I did do some research on it, and it, guys, it's kind of hard to believe that this is just what you're seeing with your own eyes. It does kind of look fate. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! It doesn't even try. It doesn't the drip. It just nope. like sideways. We pew, go. Pew 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 pew. pew. <laughs> I'm spinning around like that. Like so cool. Wait, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop! 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 It's created a cushion <laughs> underneath. It's like being repelled away from the plastic sheet. It okay. Just okay. Air hockeyed itself right off the table. I'm trying to sort of pull just a little bit. Out. But this is so cool. It's seriously just bouncing, like repelling. Like the ferrofluid has made enough of a sort of liquid bubble around the magnet that the magnet itself is no longer in contact with the plastic oh sheet. No. It's just traveling on top of it. This looks so surreal. Like it does. This perfectly glossy black thing. And it like, even my fingers, like as I'm trying to hold it, like I can feel it repelling my hand a little bit. Feels way weirder no. than you thought it was going to. Yeah. All right, so we've made some sort of weird magnetic donut hockey puck. So here's the plan. We're gonna put this thing onto a glass pane. I'm gonna put another piece of magnet underneath it. We're gonna see if we can slide it around like a hockey puck. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Very, very little friction. This is like the most frictionless thing I've ever seen. Now we have a second one. Oh no! Wait, wait, just get one, just get one. I'm gonna put a magnet underneath what we're doing. <laughs> you are going to throw that off. <laughs> All right, here's what I wanna try. So let's take that magnet off and let's try just using a more powerful magnet. Yeah, there's no friction here. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Running away! So now we have a much stronger magnet, and I want to see if it will pull the ferrofluid off of that magnet. I, I would say I would hold it in place, but don't do that. Oh, wait, All right, this is awesome. Look at that. 
Okay, I wasn't paying attention to where I was putting my hands. Uh, you do that, I'm gonna go find dish soap. <laughs> oh, it got too close. <laughs> and as I was expecting, it is in fact pulling the ferrofluid <laughs> off of one magnet onto the other. That's so weird. The edges of this just feel like where the ferrofluid is, you can see that it's all getting drawn to the sides, to one end or the other. The middle, eh, not so much. But the edges where it's all gathering, it feels like a gelatin. What are you holding? One of the bigger magnets. And it oh picked up gosh. a lot of the ferrofluid and it's very hard to hold on to. So when you've got two magnets and you press them against each other, it feels like there's sort of like that invisible force in between. This ferrofluid liquid stuck to the magnet is like a liquid version of that, except it's just on my hands. Like it feels like the same kind of resistance. That it's, you can feel it resisting right away, but it's like a little bit gummy as you press against it almost. Okay, slippery, yes. It feels like gelatin. That's so weird. <gasps> what are, Nate, what are you doing? Dance party. We grabbed our social media manager to show him. Hi. Oh, oh gosh. Wee! Oh my. That's so weird. <laughs> Oh. He's so happy. His name is Steve. Oh, sure. Fair food is very, very slippery. There's a reason people have never done this. Oh, it's spiking through my finger. Do you see that? Oh, look at that. You got spikes on oh, top of it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let this be a warning. This is why you should like use tissues and wash your hands because this is how germs spread. How we like can't help it. Like, look at my shirt, my arms, like the table. Granted, germs aren't as. Uh, copious or slippery as this, but same thing. You can't control them. They go everywhere. I just spent the last few minutes washing my hands. It's kind of coming off a little. A little bit, but pour, pour a little bit of water. Let's, let's just show how bad this is. Again, this is a very good example of how germs work, but this is oil-based, so. Put your hands over that, because uh -huh. this is just gonna roll right off your hands. Uh-huh, sure is. It's like beating up. Nothing, just doesn't even try. <sighs> that doesn't even seem possible. Whatever you're doing is making it freak out. Yep. See how it's freaking out? Nate is three feet away partition. I mean, that uh, it's cardboard, it's not gonna do anything, but that little magnet, that's the coolest. This is what I've seen before. I'm gonna drip a little bit of ferrofluid onto this screw, which has some magnets attached to the head. No, no, what no, what? Yes, yay. So it just climbs down. I'm just gonna pour more on now. This is the single sphere magnet hanging from a string that we dripped our ferrofluid onto. It no longer looks like a sphere because its magnetic field attracts the ferrofluid in weird ways, but now we're gonna try putting it in liquid nitrogen. We're gonna see what that does to the ferrofluid, to the magnet, just to the whole thing. So uh, here goes. I see little bits of what looks I like the know. ferrofluid floating around in the liquid nitrogen no. now. Oh no, it's everywhere. This isn't a very strong magnet, but I'm so oh. curious. Hang on, that started melting really quickly. I assume because the magnet inside <laughs> is still fairly warm. It hasn't been in there long, but. I'm collecting it uh, on the sides, however. Look at that. Oh, I actually managed to pull some of it off. Oh, well hey, we can get our ferrofluid back. That was a way to get some of the ferrofluid off see if the magnet is still attracted to the screw. Usually magnets still work when they're this cold. Ooh, very, very little. Hardly, yeah. So that's a way to recover some. some. Okay, new test. I wanna see what happens if we take a freezing cold magnet and drip ferrofluid right onto that. Do it. Very cold magnet. That's behaving pretty much the same way. Although that does look super trippy.
it melts really fast, and then my knife, of course, is sticking to it. There's a reason people try and avoid putting the ferrofluid directly on the magnets. Once it's on there, it's really hard to get off. It doesn't stop being magnetic or anything like that. So you can't really pull it off. It's a liquid. I can't grab this and pull it off. And even if I try and use the pipette to pull it off, the magnetic attraction is stronger than the suction of the pipette. And so it just like stays attached to the magnet and doesn't come off back into the pipette. So you waste a lot like this. And that is kind of what we expected was gonna happen. We're not surprised at this. We foresaw this happening, but we really wanted to try it anyway because I've never seen anyone else do it. Guys, if you're not careful, ferrofluid is really messy. Click up there at the top to watch your most recent video. Click down there to check out the newest merch we've got in our shop. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.